Look, come and look at it. Come and look at it. Hey, Shalawam, Aki, I'm Shalawam. Shalawam. You see? Looks good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, get up in there, Aki. Yeah? All right, hey, Shalawam, Shalawam, Aki. Shalawam. 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 What, what, I want to start off by saying all praises unto Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakaf Badash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Double Millstone. Of great millstone. Shalom. And shalom to the hopeful elect Akiam that are teaching this word. So as you can see here, brothers, you know, we're, we're pretty much by um, the Duke of Wellington's arch, base, arch basically. We're in a, uh, so if you see here, you see the statue of the Duke of Wellington up there. We're in the city of uh, London, basically. That's the statue of the Duke of Wellington up there. And over there is the arch that they built to commemorate, uh, to commemorate his victory victories over the french basically over napoleon pretty much yeah and um the, and over here also over here is his residence if you can see here they say well this is what they said that the duke of wellington lived in in this area basically this was uh his london residence yeah. but you see the the you know brothers are here you know we're gonna bring some scriptures out and pretty much what we we're kind of thinking about is basically behind the scenes you know who funds these guys because this is all up here they got this great uh, memorial uh, great arch built to him with Nike, the goddess of victory up there, yeah. right? But behind the scenes, who funds these guys, basically? Who funded the Duke of Wellington? Who funds their armies? Who funds the wars? The international banking families, primarily the, um, the Red Shield family, basically, all right? They, they funded the machines for war, basically, all right? And Nathan Rothschild was a massive part in funding uh, the Duke of Wellington. But you know, the, 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 you know, the average, um, you, know, the, the, you know, a person that might know some history, well, look at this. Look how great Britain is. We yeah. defeated the French and all that. Yeah, but you don't yeah, even yeah. know your country is ruled by Amalekites. Yeah, 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 we yeah. defeated the French. Are they great? Go on, speak, brothers. No, no, get it, it, get even it. To even add on to your point, yeah. that, that our point is mentioned in the Rothschild movie. Mm -hmm. you no, know, do you remember when the um, Duke of, of, of Wellington mm -hmm. finally came back from, from his battle? Yeah. And then outside the uh, window, those people that was chanting his name and giving him praise yeah and, but... <laughs> and 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 the duke of wellington said in the video these people are thanking me but really like they should be thanking you lord lord rothschild yeah and he the, called him lord the money yeah, masters yeah. right yeah but you know the, the the point is as well what you're what you're saying why he did that is because they they prefer secrecy they prefer, their oh, things research. read it let's read it because that's who rules this place brother go on brother I have it here. go on mate. This, this is Psalm 64 from the top and it says, Hear my voice, O power. In my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. So we you gotta understand Israelites and it's true. We have enemies, man. Yeah. The other nations are not our friends. We're not supposed to be buddy buddy with them, man. They are enemies. Verse two, hide me from the secret council of the wicked. Yeah. You know, what secret yeah. council? In yeah. The secret societies. You know, the Illuminati, the Skull of Bulls, the, the, the Rothschilds, the elite families, man. Bank the, families. the money masters, yeah, money man. Masters, man. Money go on, Shaq, go on, that. Go on, that. Yeah, and, and, and you, 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 you even have a term called what? All wars are bankers' wars. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, and if you go into, like, history, like, and research, you, you, you'd actually know that the, the, the like, in terms of how the Duke of Wellington won this, this, this uh, 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 battle, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Rothschild played a like a like a like a major a part like mm -hmm. in financing his troops yeah because really the, the um Rothschilds and bankers got upset at napoleon because he didn't take their like loans to to, to finance his troops mm -hmm. right whereby the, the well he was really, he didn't really want to fuck with the bankers exactly because exactly. he he wanted to get he wanted he wanted France's freedom France basically because yeah. there was there's even a, um, writings of Napoleon basically wanting his own banks and all that exactly. he didn't want that he didn't want the uh, the um, the backing of the bankers so to speak and there was a lot of Edomites like that yeah. throughout the history they know that because why because they know that they're no good man all right they know that they're no good basically yeah. Yeah. and even even the uh, aristocracy throughout Europe they said that about the uh, the Rothschild family they said. They, there's quotes on a different aristocracy saying they're basically um, masters of corruption. Yeah. Because once they get up in your shit, you know, and they, because that's what they've done. It's not just, go on, read it, read you it. Because I'm I, I, remembering I, I, information, but it's just gone. I, I have information to add on to what you said. Yeah. Because um, I have a quote from, from uh, the, the, the book, the, um, the creature of Jekyll Island. Yeah. Because, can I say this, act? 
because they this you see this arc here this is a big com a like a, com a commemoration to him yeah. over here they got a, he's on a horse that's the duke of wellington right there what was his name arthur well uh yeah born in ireland what was yeah. he born in ireland yeah he's a general basically yeah. and a prime minister of this yeah. country yeah. Yeah. of england right but you see here you see here they got the um, um, a horse uh him on a horse you know exalted they've got a, the, uh, an arc built for him a triumphal arc mm, built yeah. for him over there goddess you know uh, yeah which the, the goddess of victory, victory and so yeah. and the triumphal arcs always represent like esau's wins yeah, yeah. basically victory, yeah. Yeah. you can see the swords as well that they got which we know that's the blessing of esau yeah. Yeah. the yeah. blessing of the edomites and you know what's funny yeah. they got all of this and you know it's funny they built that for him right across his london residence yeah. but they they got all this but going into it going more into it who's over this guy really yeah you know, um, I, I, I have a bit of information because you're speaking about how he, he, he didn't really like the uh, bankers, right? Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is um, from the book of the creature of uh, J J Jekyll Island on the on, on, on the chapter called the the Rothschild formula. Mm -hmm. It says one of um, Napoleon's first blows against the bankers was to establish an an, an independent bank of France. Yeah, because he didn't. He, because he, pretty much, he he wanted to deal with his country's own way. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where it is. See, Esau, even these different Edomites, right? See, right now we're under the. We're really even think about it like this here. Yeah? England rules. Britain rules. Yeah. And America is basically an extension of Britain because yes. it, America hasn't been freed from Britain. Britain really rules America still. The Queen, the Crown, which really the Rothschild family, the elite families, they rule America, right? But the point what I was saying is that different Edomites now, they will go into war, but you see these Edomites, they have their own, they wanna they would want to do their things their own way. Like if, yeah. if Napoleon ruled, he would want to do things his own way. They're all the same people, but they would they all have they have ways they want to do things. They have a different you, you get me? Yeah. Like the Edomites in Spain, I'll give you like an example. The Edomites in Spain, they think different to the Edomites here in, in England. Yeah. What's touchy to Edomites here in England is not the same to the ones in Spain. They have a different mentality. So if they were ruling, it would be there. It would be, a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You same know? Like, but we're under, now we're under the British, so-called British elite. Yeah. But it's really all, it's all, we're really all under the Rothschild family, really. Yeah. Go on, that, go on. I was just say this point because you made me think as well. Yeah. Just another example that yeah. you've got the Edomites in Russia. Mm -hmm. they're, they're different than the Edomites in America. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that shows you that Esau is on his way down because the scriptures tell you that nation that is divided, you know, they cannot stand. That's it, yeah. So they're going to head for a form and they got infighting between themselves. Yeah, you know, that's the point. precept. Go ahead, uh, Job 9.24. Oh, but you was reading the creature yeah, of Jekyll yeah, Island. Uh, yeah, keep, yeah. Keep so, reading that. So it says... Let's stick to these kind of... Yeah. yeah. It says, yeah. one of Napoleon's first blows against the bankers mm. was to establish an independent bank of France with himself as, as president. Yeah. Because he, he, he actually saw you know the the the, the wicked pr practices that was taking place yeah get get, get uh, countries in debt basically uh, <laughs> have them in slavery right yeah. and it says um but but even this bank was not tr tr trusted and government funds were never placed into it yeah it, it was his refusal to uh, borrow <laughs> however that caused the most concern among the finances. Yeah, mm -hmm. be, be, because of like, you know what I mean? Like, like, like a, a perfect example is this. The um, the, the, the actual main people that uh, 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 financed, you know, the Duke of Wellington, what's uh, Nathan Rothschild. Man. Yeah, you see? Well, yeah, well, when you see, and when you go into, go on, read that, yeah, read, read it. This, yeah? yeah. So this is an article from Rothschild Archive mm -hmm. and reads, Nathan Mayer Rothschild and Waterloo, and it says the part played by Nathan Mayer Rothschild between 19, um, sorry, between 1777 and 1836, and his brothers in helping the British government, because you know the the, the, the descendants, the, the sons of uh, 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 Amshel Rothschild, you know the, the first barons, the five sons, they all split into different uh, lands of, of Europe. Mm -hmm. Some went France, you know, and, and Nathan went to England. Mm -hmm. so when re and really Nathan. See, Carl Roth, the, the brother, the, one of the five brothers, Carl Rothschild, he said, we owe everything to Nathan. Yeah. Because yeah. Nathan was really like, he took them to another level. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. after this war, they went to another level. They became super rich. Yeah. And their tentacles spread even further throughout Europe. Because now, 
all the most of the aristocracy in Europe had to deal with them. They really brought out all of the the high ranking so called lesser families, so to yeah. speak. They really over all of them. Even when you go into the, like Tsar Nicholas, Tsar Nicholas was in Russia, which Tsar Nicholas was a Jake. The bankers killed him to take his gold, and that was round about not too di too dissimilar of times. Around I believe it was like the 18, 17, 1800s. So they were taking people out, bro. Yep. Buying them out and shit. And if you don't play ball by them, they were just murdering you, man. Yep. But what was we saying a minute ago? What did we you mentioned? Yeah, go on, yeah. mention that. So the part played by Nathan. Nathan was really the one that took them to another level, yeah, though. Yes, yeah. yes. Because even Carl Rothschild, he's quoted as saying that. He's quoted as saying, Nate, we owe everything to Nathan. Yeah. yeah. That the, the one that took the Bank of England. Yeah. But go ahead. Exactly. Well, I was just going to add as well, because it's, it's well known that Nathan, he basically made a fortune. Yeah. From, from their victory, you know, yeah. from the you know the Battle of Waterloo, yeah. which you know, you know, this is what their uh, victory, you know, yeah. commemorate. Basically, you know, their victory they were celebrating. Yeah. You know, and so after that, it was well known that, that Nathan he basically made a fortune. Yeah. Like be, 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 be. You're right, because bro. he had be, 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 because he had spies on the battlefield that was feeding them like information. Yeah. So, so, so what he was doing was he, he was he, he would feed them false information that Napoleon was. Like, 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 one the war. So basically, basically, when I was in the like stock trading, when I was trading, the people, everyone sold all their bonds. Yeah. And then he bought for cheap. And you know, but you know also when, what when he was doing as well. Yeah. He was even doing. He was even selling among, yeah, yeah, showing yeah. them as if he's doing the yeah, same yeah, thing yeah, as yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a trickster. In the movie. Yeah, he was oh, selling as well. Movie. Yeah. Like the like the rest of the um, traders, mm. you know, as if like oh we're we're about to lose the war, so to yeah, speak. Yeah. But he had the inside information because he was getting that knowledge swift through Europe. Uh, yeah. I'm go on, go on. You're gonna read Genesis, yeah. Yeah. This is the book of Genesis mm -hmm. three and one. Now that the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord had made, mm -hmm. and uh, and who's the serpent, right? The the, 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 the spirit of the serpent. I mean, the spirit. I mean, Esau. Yeah. Revelation twelve speaks about that that old well, no was it 12 or 20 where it says the, that, that 20 old, yeah it's 20 in it mm -hmm. that says the, the oh, old so serpent which is the devil and satan that's the spirit of esau yeah so, so what, what is it it's subtle so so, so he's patient mm -hmm. so 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 that's why we're talking about how nathan rothschild and really that's that's like oh the 19th century was called the century of the, the, the rothschilds yeah because that's that obviously they obviously go back what to 1700s or so old money Old money, <laughs> but that's when like that that single act of him selling the stocks, yeah. he became rich as shit. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. So that was yeah. within 24 hours. That was like he yeah. got information early. It was like 1850. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 he
off of the seats in Germany. So you know when you're, he's like a king on the run and who was helping him move gold? Uh, uh, Maya Amschel. And he, and I believe he even sent, there was even German gold, gold from Germany sent to here to Nathan to, for him to, to protect those investments basically. So they, they've always been trading in gold and silver and that. Yeah, because, you know? because gold and silver is real money. It's real money, bro. Quick one. Go on. Genesis 13 and two. And Abraham was rich in cattle. In silver and in gold. Yeah, that's, it. that's the real money. That's the real money. Not see what they've pumped into society today. These notes. That's not money. Yeah. There's, it's not backed by anything. So when they crash it too, they'll laugh. They're gonna laugh at people. When they crash this FRNs, they're gonna be laughing at you, man. Because the real wealth, they have it all. For themselves, even Maya. You know, when he was coming up in his early days. You know, he, they gave him coins and he was going to collect antique, like coins. Yeah. Old coins, and which you know is money, I've, silver, gold. Yeah. yeah, and he learned his skills. For, read the, read what yeah, you had. Yeah. I, have, I have information. To well, he learned, he, yeah, go on, go on. Okay. You read Absolutely. that. Yeah. See, Maya learned his skills from, from, um, he went to Hanover to learn from uh, Jacob Wolf Oppenheimer. Mm. He learned under the Oppenheimers, mm. Maya Amschel. And then he went back to, he went back to Frankfurt later on, in, uh, you know, when he grew up a bit more. Mm. And basically he was already established in Germany. Mm. He's, his name, he said that his reputation preceded mm. him in Germany. So he was, they were wealthy already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when you see them, the, the, the elite, the, the, in the movies, you know, they act poor among the tax collectors and all that, but they already, they were already rich. Mm. He was already one of the wealthiest men at that time, yeah. Maya Amschel. Yeah. And them ghettos they lived in were self-imposed self ghettos, man, in Germany at the time. They weren't, they never came from so-called, uh, as they say, you know like basically they've always had money yeah. they never came from absolutely nothing to be do, do you get it yeah. they've always been in and around money yeah, yeah yeah it's not like they've just come from nothing with no idea and made it i have a quick Go point on, bro. on what on your you know what you're talking about like what true 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 money is gold and silver yeah and, and, and stuff blah, blah, blah. yeah but here's information right yeah all right and so the 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 battle lines were drawn napoleon had to be destroyed at all costs. Mm -hmm. To make this possible, the Bank of England created a vast new amount of fiat money yep. to lend. You see, because cause basically they like realized, bro, you have to destroy this guy like at all costs. The, the word uh, fiat means let it, let it be so. Mm -hmm. so, so. So they had to create like, fake money mm. to just to try and finance him mm. uh, to, 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 to finance to make sure they won that war because mm -hmm. it was a big threat to them yeah it's, it says yeah. this um to well, imagine if he took so called took over yeah we had them so we'll be speaking for, you know, you know, <laughs> well that's what they say, what they say. we'll be speaking german we'll or speaking yeah. german yeah but, when, but you see when you go behind the scenes now the tentacles of all these wars was them anyway because oh, the you have to remember when napoleon was in his so in his pump so to speak yeah. He blocked off a lot of trade in Europe. He did, he did. But who was who was who was trading behind the scenes? The Rothschilds. Mm. They were actually they had the, the sons they, who... and they were actually importing, exporting things, making money. It's like the time of uh, America. You had the time of prohibition, where you yeah. couldn't you couldn't alcohol right. was illegal, yeah. but criminals made money off it. So did so did elite families. The Rockefellers, yeah. damn sure would have been making money off prohibition because yeah. they're the ones that set the laws. Yep. Yeah. And, and when you get that saying, but go and read it. No, Keep, no, 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 read no, that. no, no, read, read, it read. It says, read. And so the battle lines were drawn. Napoleon had to be destroyed at all costs. To make this possible, the Bank of England created vast new amounts of fiat money to, to lend yep. to the government so that it could finance an overpowering army. A steady stream of gold flowed out of the country to finance the armies of Russia, Prussia, and Austria. The the economy staggered once again. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So 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 the actual uh, point uh, was. You know what's funny? That same uh, formula is, is is used now. Yeah. They just create false money. Yeah. And finance war, and the economy eventually suffers. Suffers. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's part of their power. Yeah. That's, the That's power. part of their power. That, um, the power. That basically they own the, yeah. they own the, they own the, they own the riches. So part of their power is, um, you know, is the, is the like the fiat currency and what yeah. their money is part of the yeah. power. Yeah. You got people, 
you got nations fighting to get their F, um their FRNs and all that. Yeah. You know, that's how they, you know, go on that. Like. But then the but then what they do is when they get you in monetary debt, you know what the elites do? They take all the resources of your land. All right, fine. Yeah. We want some we want a portion of that. We want to buy a portion of this. Cuz even the Rothschilds, when you see the Rothschilds, they were heavy in the during the time of colonialism also. They owned a lot of those companies that was mining the silver, mining the gold, mining the all of that stuff. Mining uranium. They own all of it all. Tentacles, yeah, tentacles. Go on, so brother. They, they know what, you know, having power is, is what it's about. It's about being able to have power, right? So Go on, this is Proverbs 22 and 7. The rich ruleth over the poor and the borrower is servant to the lender. Servant to yeah. the lender. So it's called debt slavery. Can, can I read this quote? Yes, bro. This is from Carl Rothschild, yeah? And he yeah. said this. This is what he said. He said, this is what Carl Rothschild said, right? That's the oldest. No. Am, no, Amschel. Amschel Rothschild was yeah. like the oldest. That's all right, because it, it blocks the camera. Because it's recording you, brothers. So it said, Amschel Rothschild, which is the oldest of the five brothers. This is what he said, right? He said, as Jews, our fate is to buy our way through. Or, or watch the Gentiles take the lead. Mm. That's what he said. So meaning pretty much what does he mean when he says that? He means buying our way through means what? We've got to basically through our through our wealth, we've got to infiltrate countries. Yeah, yeah. Broker yeah. them deals, underhand deals, and then what? And then put them in debts. It, mm. And and like that's what them Amalekites yeah. do. Mm. Yeah. I, I, I was just gonna say even in that Rothschild movie, they even had a scene where you know they showed you, you know, uh, Maya, he was basically saying how you know he was talking to his sons, remember when he gathered yeah, his sons yeah, around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was a point where he started crying basically telling them that money is the only defense they have to defend themselves yeah. as jews what did amshel say that for the quote he said as yeah. jews our only fate is to buy our way through yeah. Yeah. or watch the gentiles take the lead which they're not the real jews by the way but no but but yeah, of course yeah of course yeah the, they ain't the real jews but you know it's spiritual mm. because in the law you cannot um lend you uh, uh, usury mm -hmm. on your neighbor yeah but on the heathen you can lend, you, 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 basically they, you, you can do what you want. You, you have them in debt slavery. That's what they do, bro. Yeah. Which I have the law on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, yeah. Deuteronomy 23 and 19. Thou shall not lend upon usury to, to the, 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 thy brother, the, the, the usury of money, the, 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 the usury of victuals, the usury of anything that is lent upon usury. But it says, unto a stranger yeah. thou mayest lend upon usury. So they See, can do what they want to but, you. But that ties right into your quote, bro. Yeah, yeah. Remember he as, says, Jews, as Jews, yeah. as Jews our, our fate is to buy our way through yeah. or watch the Gentiles take the lead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so that's what Amshel Rothschild yeah. said. Basically, yeah. they like pay, they, they play the background but have the tentacles. And that's it. They control. Well, that, that's why, what did Maya Amshel say? I care not who makes the laws. Yeah. Um, but, but who controls, controls the, the money? money. Yeah, Read yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He says, it's Please. Maya Amshel Rothschild, and it says, let me issue and control a nation's money, and I care not who writes the laws. Yeah, because you control the money, you really do control the laws though. Because if you control the money, all you got to do is tell the puppet leader you have at the front. Like the Duke of Wellington, as much as he's a revered man, he was really a puppet of theirs. And, and, yeah. and that's why he, he said in a Rothschild movie, yeah. he actually told him, my, uh, Nathan, yeah. he said, bro, did, 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 these people are thanking me for the Duke, uh, for, for the Battle of yeah. Waterloo. Really, man, they should thank you. You won the war. You, yeah. you won the war. So the Duke of Wellington, as much as he is a revered man in British history, so-called English history, Edomite history, the Rothschilds are really over funded him. <laughs> yes. It's, you know, you've got all of this, but where's the commemoration that, to that's Nathan? All, that's what he's going to say. You really know? should be. The, 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 the archer Rothschild. The archer, that's what yeah. it should be. But you see the Rothschilds, see what it is with them, the, those families, secrecy. And they, they revere amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, oh, Nathan was great. And you know, we don't, the Goyam ain't meant to know nothing about that. Yeah. We're just meant to know a little bits and pieces. Are they the conspiracy? Are they a wealthy family? Yeah, yeah. Do they rule the world? Yeah. Is it true? How what is secrecy? I exactly. Know, I was gonna, the, 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 the circle was more subtle. Now, exactly. I was make this point as well, because even, they like to hide in that secrecy even to this day, because yeah. Like you're saying, they got this commemoration here. Yeah. But how many people know what's actually behind it? Yeah. Even when we had um, Evelyn Rothschild, yeah. he was the, the financier of, of um, you know, advisor of, of the Queen. Yeah. How many people, you know, but when he passed, how many people knew about that or even? No one even talked about it. No one yeah, yeah, yeah. voice or a squeak. Except the yeah. brothers, and there was, and there was, and I believe there was only a few articles in the newspapers mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Like someone like that passing away. 
Yeah. Go on, like someone of rev reverence of this world. Mm. Right. Go ahead, but that secrecy. I have Go a on, quick precept. Yeah. This is a Proverbs 28 and 8. Yeah. And I'm going to read it in the, 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 the NLT and the KJV. I, I, I read first in the KJV. He that by he that by usury and unjust he that by usury and unjust gain increaseth his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Now, if I read in the, the NLT, it says income from charging high interest rates will end up in the pocket of someone who is kind to the poor, mm -hmm. because because Esau's got this whole world in slavery. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, and it's, and it's the same thing. Like all wars, as we, you know, it says all wars are bankers' wars. Yeah. Like if you see a lot of these major conflicts, they finance both sides. Well, well, even even I saw something yeah. where the Rothschild family had a hand in in financing Brazil's independence from Portugal, mm -hmm. and there was a war of independence, and then Portugal, the Brazilian government had to pay two million pounds in that yeah. time, you know, to Portugal for their independence, basically. But who was behind, who was behind that? The Rothschilds. Even when you go into like the Panama Canal, who's behind that? The Rothschilds, the, 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 um, the, uh, the, the mining and the, not the mining, but the train industry, the industrial revolution, the Rothschilds were into the, in that. And now even in the, the Rothschilds today, for example, they're in now, they're heavy into these tech industries. Yep. They own all of that. So wherever the, the world moves forward, their, their they're tentacles behind are behind it. owning it all till they're brought down. Yep. Oh, go on, eh? go on, because eh? they are going down, by the way. Right, and we got, right. we got, we got to go on that. We got to speak about that too. That's this right. is their end. This yeah. is their end. That's why we know these things through the spirit yeah. of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, of course. Yeah. Go on, eh? Psalm seventy-three, verse five. They are not in trouble as other men, like you just mentioned. Everything that, everything that's booming and uh, that's is 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 is, is um, uh, continuing or being pushed forward. Who's behind it? Yeah, these elites, man. Yeah, Esau is on top, man. So if you if you if you think Esau is done away with or the, the, their sea lines perish, that's not true, man. You can you can you can literally see that Esau is on top, man, and that's the so-called white man. Yeah, he's not in trouble as other men. Yeah, Jake is the one that's oppressed. We're all poor. Yeah. Go it on, says man. neither are they played like other men. Want to say something? No, no. Yeah, that's it, man. That's yeah, it. We're, Jake is the one in poverty, in the, the real what they call ghettos in the corners. That's it, yeah. That's the ones that you know when we didn't have a choice, man. We're yeah. the ones that fit the curses as well. That's another thing. And, this, and, we're, and it ain't self-imposed. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's inflicted upon us by our enemies, man. And obviously the curses. That's it. That's right. You know? Go ahead, Ak. Go on, Ak. Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. Right? Woe means destruction. And as the brother, you know, rightly said, we've got to talk about their downfall, man. We're in a time where these uh, uh, wicked elites, they're being exposed. Their history, their dark. Beliefs. Like, look, can I? So lucky, brother. You meant, you know, mentioned them Jewish ghetto. So lucky, bro. It's like Jake's in the ghetto, right? In the, the community, bad communities and stuff. How the hell can't? Why can't Jake are the real people of the Lord? Why can't Jake's get out anywhere and, yeah. and make it anywhere? Why? You know what I mean? It's them that. It's, here is how can you be the oppressed but rule at the same time? It doesn't make sense. Don't mean no how the fuck can you be the oppressed but but own everything? Go on, heck. And it says no but what was you saying a minute ago you was mentioning oh, the point no 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 i was just saying like because like, also war means destruction so yeah we, like you was mentioning yeah. you got to speak about how we're at the end of the, the wicked elite and esau's kingdom because this information's coming out you know a lot of people they talk about what the, the you know uh, illuminati or you know all them type of videos people are always asking about that well it's in the scriptures mm -hmm. right the secret counsel of the wicked right those that are seeking deep to hide their counsel from mm -hmm. the lord mm -hmm. okay so it says and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us works in the docks they move in secrecy man yep yeah eyes wide shut they show you things man yeah that movie with uh, tom cruise yeah yeah uh, what did the guy say to tom cruise in that scene if i were to tell you who's who's a part a part of these industries like politicians and our doctors or that you wouldn't believe it man yeah there's dark things happening behind closed doors man yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah part, part of their secrecies as well is also they got all the symbolisms. Yeah. Like even uh, uh, Nike. Yeah. That they got on top, you know, over there as well. So all of that, they're going back to these idols that they worship. You know, the things that they put right yeah. in front of people's eyes. And showing you it's Rome too. It's a triumphal arc. Yeah. yeah. yeah the pillars. The pillars. Mm. You know. And then and you know that they're the Edomites because look, the man of war on a horse with swords and all that. Look at that. 
Re get Revelation that. 6. Because these Rothschilds behind the scenes, yeah, they fund all this. They fund the wars, right? And what are they doing? They're taking peace from the planet, man. Yeah. For their gain. Go on, eh? Revelation 6 and 4, and there went out another horse that was red. That represents Esau, man. Yeah. That's the deeper level of it. The deeper level of it is who's ruling the planet, right? People say, oh, there's the government. All right, so who owns the government? Uh, it's, it's, it's white people. All right, cool, but who's over them? Um, it's, ri it's rich um, uh, Bill Gates and all that, basically, yeah? But Bill Gates, right, and all these guys, they're peons to these elites. But guess what? The deeper level of it is they're the Edomites. They are actually Esau and the elite families know that they're the house of Eden. Yeah. And it's no coincidence that the Red, the Rothschilds call themselves that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Red, Red Child. Yeah, yeah. Like... Red Shield. Red yeah. Shield, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like for, to, 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 to add to that point that they actually know that they're Rothschild, our bosses always mention that book, um, the, uh, no, that um, the interview where the master plan of the, the um, illuminated, Ro illuminated uh, uh, Rothschild, you yeah. had uh, Marion Knox basically said that the Rothschild know that they are the house of Esau, man. You know what I mean? Straight yeah. up. Yeah. And that you shows know? you that they know who are the real chosen, who yeah. are the yeah. real people of the Lord, man. Cause in order to tell a lie, you have to know the truth. That's it. And that's a part of their counsel as well, is to destroy us from being a nation. Right? Psalm Psalm free. Free. Okay, they want to cut Israel off from being a nation. That's that's it. It. Yeah. Yeah. Revelation 6 again, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Peace so the there you go. Yeah. Power was given unto him to yeah. take peace from the earth. Swords, musket guns, rifles. That's yeah. what they're about, that man. technology was given to him, man. That's his blessing. It yeah. To live by the sword in Genesis, man. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere Esau has gone, he's colonized, he's conquered, he's divided, he's raped, robbed. And by when yeah, this was going, yeah, go on, read the precept. Right no, no, read the scripture. This is the, this is Ecclesiastes ten and seven. I've seen servants upon horses oh, yeah. and yeah. princes walking the servants upon the earth. Yeah. Right, and and, and, and that's it, man. Mm. You know, all these Edomites are. Actually, uh, 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 like, uh, uh, like, uh, like, a uh, praise, but, but, but that's because they look at an authority to actually rule. That's but, right. But, but hey, it's that's funny. Right, the, the Rothschilds, the, um, the, 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 the like original surname is Bauer. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which the, there are servants, man. Peasants. Yeah, yeah peasants. It's, uh, it's peasants. But then it's funny that they um basically brought brought out the the, the the way to to uh to be a baron. Aris well, well, even yeah, but even you see, even what you mentioned that the aristocracy, a lot of le lesser Edomites didn't really like, don't really like them. Yeah, but they we it, were, that in movie. it shows you that yeah, and, but they wormed their way in through these through their finances, their finances. and totally demolished um, countries to the point where there was kings in Europe that were just being bankrolled by them. Yeah, fully bankrolled by them. I believe yeah. King Louis the Eighteenth of France. He took a loan from Nathan Rothschild of like, I think it was like 200,000 pounds, right? And then, but when he when he had to pay it back, it was, he had to pay it back with like heavy interest. Yep. So he was perpetually fucked. Because you had a lot of those kings in Europe, uh, those uh, uh, aristocracy in Europe were just getting bought out by these Rothschilds. To the point where, all right, fine, now you're, you're at the front of the, 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 um, the front of the imagery in your country, but we're behind the scenes and you come to us. That's what they did. I know some change. I have a, I have and, they, a and, they, and they've done that to everyone on the, in the world. Oh, no, it's just fucking Satan, man. And that's what, that's what basically, you know, in history, you know, when they started coming into their, you know, prominence with their financial wealth, you know, they basically, their businesses were basically booming to the, where the point where, you know, other nations and people, they had to come to them. Yeah. They, so they actually had no choice because they were actually, they got a reputation for being reliable, lending, you know, and so they basically just got their way in and you always you know, probably speak about how they changed their names. They all them. Yeah, yeah, it's a party one. They're gone. They're going down. But yeah, how they changed their names also. They go under the radar with crypto, you know, hidden. So that's how they get their way in there. And you know, you know the Rothschilds, right? There's, 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 um, uh, you made me think about something there. Because they bought their way amongst, they bought their way, in, like, basically, got into countries and bled them dry basically yeah yeah but you know that they, they there's sorry but there's my the camera was focusing the people the, the um the aristocracy at the time didn't even some of them didn't want to even mess with them yep because they they were calling them they were calling them like basically um a, basically 
um, uh, pu puppet masters of corruption. Yeah, mm. look at that. They're puppet masters of corruption. And then you know what the Rothschilds used to do that, in that time? They would use that, what all the hatred that was coming against them, they would use that to push anti-Semitism. Anti yeah. Going back to the 16, going back to the 1700s. Oh, it's anti, they're anti -Semit so That anti-Semitism thing ain't just being heard today. They've been, they've been using that, they're yeah. playing the victim. Here is they're destroying your country through these bonds and, um, uh, this, and stealing the wealth of your economy. And when you point it out, it's anti-Semitism. Yeah. But they, they were saying that from then. Because there was like different families that didn't want to deal with their money. We don't want to, these people are corrupt basically. And yeah. there's a, there's a fam famous quote, I forget where it's from, but um, you know who's in power if, if, if you can't criticize them. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and it's interesting that, you know, yeah. the years down in, in 1917, you obviously had um, the Balfour Declaration. Yeah. Right, which um, was, you know, around that time was Walter uh, um, Rothschild, mm -hmm. which was the, 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 the second Baron Rothschild. But he, he actually comes of that 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 land of Nathan. Yeah, he, he comes from that line of. Nathan. Well, yeah, he's linked to him. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. there's so, so many of them. Exactly. Yeah, but that that that's the, 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 the your point I'm making yeah. is, of course, the British Parliament would like have the Balfour uh, 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 Declaration mm -hmm. because they finance. You know what I mean? They, 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 they finance your 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 your, your, uh, your wars. And you know what they said when when you had the you know have you got something on the Balfour Declaration? Yeah, Let's read that. It says. Because you had World War Two and all that, yeah, right? Yeah. This is World War Two we're talking about. Well, well, the the Balfour Declaration was, what, was around what, World War One. World War One. Well, well, just after. But you see, but when did they get the land of Israel after World War Two? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nineteen forty-eight. Go on, go May on. Fourteen. Yeah. Because, yeah. because if you actually, like, if, if you follow, like, if you if you follow the timeline of how the Jews got the land of Israel, it wasn't just the like it wasn't just the Balfour declaration yeah it, 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 it was a long process from from the late like 1800s you had you had something called the world um Zionist uh, organized mm -hmm. and 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 and, and uh, there, there was uh, so many things you obviously had the mandate of palestine as well because there was a time where the, the ottoman empire Control, control, well, they they owned it, and then the French had it. Well, after World War One, yeah. the Ottoman Empire were taken out of there. Exactly, because that was like when the Brits and Australia and all that came against the, the Ottoman Empire came to its end during World War One. Exactly. Towards the end of it. Exactly. Yeah. So, but they had that land for a long time. Yeah, yeah. Because at first, at first, because I believe the the uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, British got the control of the land mm. of, of of Israel from the French first and then it went to the British and when mm -hmm. and when the British had it they eventually basically established you know helped establish the state yeah Israel. through the Rothschild family exactly and when when they got the land of Israel what was funny about that is when they got the land is proving they're not the people of the Lord because yeah. when they got the land of Israel as soon as they got in there they were given like military weapon like leftover military weapons from like Britain and America Isaiah from too. that time period to you know to give them a straight up defense straight away and then they were even given like they were given like a they as soon as they got up in there they instantly got like an air force a minor air force as soon as they got in there they basically were given weapons and protection straight away now they've got even more technology so how can they be uh, an oppressed people but, but, but what you, said, you get what i mean how can yeah. you going back to the holy land and as soon as you go back there you've got an army you've got everything instantly war. they've got war machines instantly to protect their to protect to protect themselves yeah. Which contradicts. <laughs> They're the people of the world. Yeah, 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 go on, go yeah. on, go on. The book of Isaiah 2 yeah. goes, goes against that. If I yeah. can read that. Book, go on, so. brother, go on. Isaiah 2 from the top. The word that Isaiah, the son of the Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days, the latter days, we're living in the last days, mm -hmm. where the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Yeah. And that mount, uh, the, the mountains uh, represent, like, like, like you hear the word summit. You know, that like recently there was a summit as well. What does that mean? The, the government heads, you know, uh, uh, join for a meeting, you know, by the government, the government heads of, of Israel. That's the mountain the top, and it says shall be established in the top of the mountains, yeah. and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. So Israel shall, will be the will be the top leading uh, nation, yeah. and everybody is going to be beneath us, just like uh, as it's written in Deuteronomy seven and six. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, Israel is above all nations. 
verse 3, and many people shall go and say, come ye and let's go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of, of a God of Jacob. So that mountain rep rep represents who? The Israelites. And he will teach us of his ways and mm. we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And here comes the part that you mentioned, the spirit. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares. Yeah, not, not get in the land of Israel and, mm. it, you know, have war machines. Yeah, Because yeah. when we get the land of Israel back, when Yahawashai returns and takes these uh, elites out and we get back in the land, yeah. we are going to have protection, but it's yeah, going to yeah. be a heavenly protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be chariots day and night. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. not going to have to fucking have a fortress of tanks. Yeah, spiritual power. Plus, <laughs> plus, and an and yeah. air force. Yeah. The angels are air force, man. Yeah. 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 And plus, so lucky, yeah. When, when, when we go into the land, yeah. we, we, we don't need fucking east of paperwork and, 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 yeah. and, and mandate there you of go. like a long agenda of us going into that land. There you go. It's promised to us yeah. and it's, it's going to be for us, man. You know what? Can we get that scripture when it says, you still got more on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, get the scripture when it says, they frame of mischief by a law. Yeah, yeah, you know that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go on, continue by yeah. that. Because that's how they get you with debts and laws yeah. and, you know? Yeah. Go on. And they shall beat their they swords it, into plowshares yeah. and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. There you go. Just like what you said for the spirit, man. That's prophecy, what, man. Yeah, why, why are they still investing into military? Yeah. Why are they bullying all these countries? Why is America and Great Britain still backing them in, in military power? The, the land of the state of israel actually yeah yeah and that's what it is it's a state yeah, yeah. you know which exactly a state mm. a state because, yeah because if you look at the actual the 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 the, 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 the promised land it extends further yeah mm -hmm. you know past it, egypt saudi arabia it's, it's actually a big portion of land bro mm. you know yeah yeah uh, i got oh you got the one above us we're going this is psalms 94 and verse 20. yeah shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee mm -hmm. which frameth mischief by a law that's these edomites man the throne of iniquity and it said which frame of mischief by a law because that's how they do things these rothschild that's why the rothschilds are known they're known corruptors yes, among yes. among higher people with money and power in this world that are under them they don't a lot of them don't really even like like them mm. but because they've got all the they've got all the wealth everyone has to go to them so to speak you know because there's 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 there's, there's families in england that own land yeah like there's there's um you know they're lesser families mm. they're not on their level but guess what they're not on their level because most of them have been bought out by the rothschilds and yep. that yeah. they, the the, the mm. amal when it makes sense because the so-called jew is the head of all edomites yeah so they they have and, and the, the the upper echelon of the so-called jews the rothschilds the duponts the rockefellers they have it all mm. basically so the even other lesser edomites have to technically bow to them mm. Because even the Rothschilds, they were getting them titles of barons and things like that because um, they were they were basically owning so much that the, the actual other aristocracy families had to give them those titles, you know? Even it showed you that in the movie with Nathan when he, when he, when he they went to the ceremony of the king in the end, remember? Yeah. yeah, and they give him all the titles and all that and then they had people around and how does it feel to be the richest man in the... But the point is, the laws, they frame of mischief by a law, man. Yeah. Mm. They, they get in th things through paperwork, funding and money, yeah, underhanded course. deals, and then you're basically, you're fucked, basically. You did, you're doing deals with the devil. Well, well, well you, know, you, 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 you know what? Information kind of kind of adds to that point. Yeah. Is 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 the mandate for Palestine, yeah. right? Which came after the, the Balfour the, 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 the declaration. Mm -hmm. I have a bit of information to read, right? Mm -hmm. It says the, the, the mandate of, for Palestine was a League of Nations uh, uh, mandate for British administration of the 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 the, 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 the uh, territories of Palestine which co compromises that land of Israel yeah. and the Transjordan both of which had been conceded um, by the Ottoman uh, uh, Empire following because yeah, they lost that war exactly following the end of World War one right now if you skip down right because when that mandate for, uh, came into pass right it says uh, in Palestine, the, 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 the mandate required uh, Britain to put in effect the Balfour Declaration's mm -hmm. national home for the Jewish people alongside the, 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 the Palestinian Arabs. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that actually proves that the, 
the, the Rothschild had a hand in it. Yeah. Because the Balfour yeah. Declaration was before the Mandate of Palestine. So when the, the Mandate of Palestine came, now they're like, okay, that agreement that you had with Rothschild, now it can be now, implemented. Yeah, to, to, to seek to establish a, 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 like a Jewish state. Because even one thing I saw with the Rothschild said that they were where they where they basically they weren't just about hoarding wealth for themselves, so to yeah. speak. They wanted to further the Im improvement of the Jewish community. I got more in that. Read it. Because that's because that's why you see the lesser Amalekites, yeah. they're more protected than your average cracker. Yeah. yeah. And even though they might not be a Rothschild, they might not be a Rockefeller or whatever, but the average Amalekite is more safe in society than an average Edomite. And then they're way more safer than us because they we're at the bottom. <laughs> Who cares? They don't care what they do with us. That's right, man. And we're the real people. You're right. Uh, you know? Lesser Amalekites, yeah. own police force, own section of the hospitals. They're looked after, man. That's because their elites have, you, you know, go. trickled down a little favor to them. Go. go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. Go on. it says, you know, the EDO, you know, it's, it shows you that they're protected. Yeah. yeah. It says, yeah. um, this is a, a like a, like a, def, a different uh, rough child, but it's so it's funny how when you research the, same the, devil, man. the state of Israel and, and like how they got into power, you see rough child, rough child here. Well, Rothschild they've even got they've got names of roads over there, oh, there. Off, yeah, after yeah, the rough child yeah, family. Yeah, they they've do. got names of roads. I can't remember the particular yeah, yeah. name. It might be rough child. I can't remember what it is, but they got names of roads yeah. over there. Right, it's, those it's, families. It says. Um, the, 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 so this is a, a different rough child. Mm -hmm. uh, Baron Abraham Edmund uh, uh, Benjamin James Day Rothschild, yeah. right, was a French member of the Rothschild banking family, mm -hmm. a strong supporter of Zionism, which again, you know, it was all, them getting the land started from the 1800s, late 1800s, mm -hmm. right, was a strong supporter of Zionism. His large donations lent significant support to the movement during the early years which helped lead the establishment of the state of, of israel, israel. Funding, always yep. funding Money. where where he he is simply known as the baron rothschild yeah you see so so you know yeah because they fund the yep. state of israel they even like i was seeing something Fuck, you know see all these amalekites even all these amalekites like with money and wealth in this world they pay money to the Israeli government. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of them Amalekite criminals. I believe there was one Amalekite criminal. I think he might, his name might be Maya Lansky. He was like the banker to the American mafia. See, you see the American mafia, you see the Italians. Mm. And Hollywood will always show you these, the greaseball yeah, yeah. paisans and all that. The greaseball, yeah. so-called, you know, like, you know, the, the paisans, they show, Hollywood will show you the Italians as the criminals, but Amalek's over them. Because you had the commission in America, they said the commission was yeah. like the five families, but their banker was a Jew. Yeah. I believe, I believe it's that Maya Lansky, the one that they, that really the head of them was a so-called Jew that they did, they dealt their money with. Mm. And I believe Maya Lansky, I saw something with him before, it said that he would pay tithes back to Israel. He would pay mm. money to the state of Israel, a portion mm. of his money. Mm -hmm. So a lot of rich Amalekites, they do that. They pay a portion to keep that state going. Yeah, mm. yeah. Not just the, obviously the elite. And, and it's been going for a long time. And it's time. been going for a long time. Now the elite families, they definitely pay a portion to keep that state yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have a precept, you know, a, a point, yeah, a go point on. more in this go article. On. It says- Don't get go to now, you rich man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says, yeah. And, and get yeah. Ezekiel. All, 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 all I do, me that I've appointed my land, land. Yeah. Ezekiel for uh, so six. It says, Please, in, in his goal, so this is talking about the same guy you mentioned, in his goal for the establishment of a Jewish homeland, he promoted industri industrialization and econ economic <laughs> development. In 1924, he established the, the Palestine Jewish Colonization Association, which acquired more than 125 acres of land and set up business ventures. So, mm -hmm. so what they did was, before the state of Israel got established in 1948, they was buying up land anyway. Yeah. They was buying up land anyway. Yeah. So it shows you, and remember. It was all part of the it, plan, yeah, man. It, it, it started with, with the World Zionist Organization in the late the, the 1800s. You got yeah. the Balfour Declaration. <laughs> And it's it's all linked to to, to the British Parliament. Yeah, so, yeah, because, because yeah, because who owns the British Parliament? Really, the, the, the Rothschild. Yeah, exactly. Because even I saw something where with, it said with when Nathan the, Meyer, as he was, yeah, yeah, you know? I was seeing something when it said with the um, uh, um, World War Two Hitler, 
that his armies invaded Austria and all that mm -hmm. and they were taking Rothschild estates and all that. Mm -hmm. And it said when they came into France, they went, you know, because the Rothschilds are heavy into art, expensive yeah. art. Yeah. And it said when they went into France, they confiscated all the artwork mm -hmm. from um, from France, basically, all the Rothschild art, the German army confiscated it all because, you know, the Jews were oppressed at that time. Yeah, yeah. But hold on, Hitler was a, Hitler was nothing but set up by them. Yeah. Well, and hold on. Was, was, was... <laughs> He was a Rothschild anyway. Was, and you know what? What was funny, I was laughing. I was like, this, people think that Hitler was really against the Jews and all that. And what I was laughing was, they say he confiscated all the Rothschild art in France. Yeah. Well, where is it today then? <laughs> where is all that art then? So, wait, didn't they, did someone get it back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They own it, bro. They, they, no, nothing was ever taken. They, the, the World War One and Two was all part of their plan. Yeah. You see? And then over time, oh. what they did, a lot of the, what the, a lot of them Rothschilds did, they hid their name more by just privatizing what they do, basically. You know, they bought into more private companies and what, uh, you know what I'm saying? Privatize, names. yeah, so then they can hide their name mm. more and more, basically. Yeah, and You know, because at one point it was like Rothschild Bank in Naples, yeah, Rothschild yeah. Bank, in, their name was big in that period. Yeah, 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 but yeah. over time, they had to, they devised more ways to even hide their name. How did they do that? Just, buying out things yeah. and basically you don't know it's them that own it pretty yeah, much yeah, they yeah. have to put their name on and, it and, 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 secrecy yeah we, 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 we can answer your point because remember right 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 right, right after world war, world war one the the balfour declaration and you know getting the mandate of palestine everything was established we, 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 we was on that plan yeah as, 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 as soon as the uh, the the british had control of palestine there was a hit hit you know there was basically trying to start the process of them getting that land yep so 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 when again it's, it's funny how again like you know how here yeah, you got duke wellington and such oh yeah he's so great man it should be the 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 the, 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 the arch of rothschild yeah you know <laughs> uh, it's true the arch of rock yeah hey uh i might as well did you have a scripture act? yes go on right i got the one um you asked for um Go on, like, yeah, this exactly. James 5. Yep. And the, 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 the heading is called Misuse of Riches. Yeah. From the top. Go to now, ye rich men. Misuse of riches. Yes, yeah. yeah. Misuse of riches. Yeah. Go right. to now, ye rich men. Yeah. Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. And who's the rich man upon the earth now? Is Esau, man. Yeah. He's bankers. With. Bankers, man. The elite families. Rothschilds. Yeah. Yeah. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are mothian. Why is their riches corrupted? Yeah, because they, they, they um, usury, you, you mentioned usury, mm -hmm. you know, uh, bribing, buying things out, you know, yeah, yeah. You know, being mischievous with their money. That, that, that like, actually, it, it, this, mm -hmm. the, the, this whole society is mm -hmm. on, based on debt and fake money. That's it, you know? Yeah, yeah, fake money, you know? Yeah. Which is really, which is, which is really witchcraft. Yeah. Like, the, that, the whole system of fiat currency, it's just, it's just literally, it's just, it's just poof. Yeah. Like, you know, if you go and get a bank loan or a credit card, that's all it they, is. Just, they made new money that moment. Yeah, they, that's you know it. what I mean? It's not like this, like money in the bank they give you now. No. By you agreeing to pay that debt, they just have to just make it happen, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. You got, got, you got yeah, more than that? Yeah, there's more than that. Yeah. yeah so there's, It's true, you're just paying that invisible yeah. it's just, sum. They just make yeah, it and, just, and say, ah, there you, you go. In, yeah. Now you have to pay. Yeah, rich is corrupt. So they, they got even blood money. <laughs> Money from slavery. Yeah, yeah. You got, you got money from wars. Yeah, yeah. They they always benefit. Yeah. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Mm. So it's gonna backfire, man. You know, every everything they did to get that money is gonna backfire on them, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, this scripture where it says, you know, they're gonna vomit up the. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, you swallow yeah. down riches. Yeah. And and shall eat your that. flesh as it will fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heap treasure together for the last day. Yeah, yeah, yeah get a few more closing yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, hey, but I'm it said they heap treasures for the last, last days. days. Last days. So Come remember all this gate, all this um, the the well, the game that's been played by the elites, right? The hoarding. chessboard. They're hoarding, yeah. but for the last days, because we're gonna get that all back. Yeah. Remember, Yahweh Shai, 
His first slaves are. In, in fact, you oh. can read that. Don't Let him get it. Yeah, Let Isaiah yeah. get it. The, yeah. His first slaves are gonna be the the families, yeah. the banking families. Yes. Yeah. Though they hide themselves. Yeah, yeah. In, you yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah, I would say his first slaves Sounds are gonna be the banking families, bro. To bind their kings with chains. So they've hoarded all those 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 riches through theft and robbery and yes. and and deceit and murder and all that. Yeah. But they're gonna give it all that all that back, bro. Yeah. Psalms. Yeah. That's all coming back to the hands of. That's coming back to to Yahweh Shai first, all right? I've got Psalms 147. This is Psalms 149 and verse five. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai be in their mouth. And a Get the one then shall they be pulled from the rock on right? Oh, and right. a two edged sword now. in their hands. Right, so basically, yeah, you know, that's justice. Nine, yeah. You know, the saints are the Israelites. Nine, yeah. So called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, the true chosen of the Lord. And the Lord's coming back to bring justice, man, vengeance, and they're yeah. gonna actually repay their enemies, man. Yeah, I'm because and another thing them. these devils have done, you're right, they're gonna they, um two edged sword in their hands, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another thing they've done is identity theft. Uh, yeah. yeah, they've yeah. said they're yeah, yeah, they're Judah. Yeah. In them in um their, their self-imposed ghettos in Germany, I can't remember they called it Judasen Lane or something. It was like the lane of the, the Judah lane and they were they lived in deprived conditions in the Holy Roman German it was called the Holy Roman Empire then Germany they lived in deprived conditions and you know what the funny thing is in that time period Jake was in slavery in America yeah, 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 exactly and in and in and in and getting taken down in Europe because even when they were still in even when the Rothschilds were in Frankfurt. It was it was still under the Holy Roman Empire because yeah. it was what the seventeen hundreds and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still had Jake still in in on on thrones, yeah. but the power was dwindled. Because yeah. even when you go into William of Orange, he was backed by um, he was funded by Amalekites. So they were like already they were doing that with Jake kings yeah, yeah. and slowly just getting them off them thrones, bro. Yeah. No. Quick one. Go ahead, eh? Job 28. Because it was the 1700s. Why was it? Germany at that time was still called the Holy Roman yeah, Empire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you yeah. know, you still had Jake in seats. Jake was around in the town. Jake yeah, was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's, that's uh, Revelation, the, 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 the 20th chapter. Mm -hmm. Because he was, because you know, like, you know, once a once thousand years came to an end, he was, slow, he was slowly, like, still taking over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, this is Job 20 and 15. He have swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. And the most high shall cast them out of his belly. Yeah. Now, 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 when a person vomits, it's 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 it's, it's, it's involuntary. It's violent. It's it's quick. So meaning, so that's what's gotta happen, man. You know, the uh, the uh, the Lord going 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 basically just just take him out, man. And, uh, so that's why. If you don't that's mind, the end of his chapter, man. If, Good riddance. If you, don't, if you don't mind, if I can get a, a quick scripture as well, right? That's why. That's why it says this. Revelation six and four, uh, six and fourteen. Sorry, fifteen. And the kings of the earth, and the the great men, and the rich men, right? The, rift, the, 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 the these Rothschilds, bankers, and the the, the various the different families. And the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man yeah. hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains yeah. and said to the mountains and to the rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. Yeah, how was I? That's, right. That's right. He's gonna take he's taking them out. He's gonna yeah. return. Yeah, so you got like a the puppet masters, so to speak, the, the Jacobs, the this, the that. We know who they are. Yeah. See, in, in this, this in this world now, for example, the average Goyim, no, they're just rich families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I saw one thing where they estimated Jacob Rothschild was only worth five billion. Yeah, I was yeah, like laughing, yeah, yeah, five billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These guys are yeah. like money's be they're beyond money. Yeah, it's liquid. They're be they're beyond they're actually beyond gold and silver. Yeah, they're actually yeah. beyond. That's how much of it they've got. Like, which really that yeah. comes from the Lord anyway. Yeah. But they've hoarded the most of it on yeah. the planet. Like like <laughs> their actual wealth is a system. Yeah. Like the whole yeah. wealth. Like you see this whole society, yeah. nothing functions without them. That's yeah. It, it says the trains, the cars you drive, yeah. the planes you're in, it's all owned by it's, them. It's actually their it money. It is the system. They they are Esau. they like it did, when it says Esau will rule the, have the fatness of the earth. That's they actually the pinnacle of Esau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's them. Fatness, yeah. And it says they've got the fatness of everything, bro. Yeah. So yeah, go it on. It says, for the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand now that's why the scripture says 
thou, thou, thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels, right? So in these secret chambers, these secret counsels, they're actually afraid. Because this scripture says here that when the, the Lord comes back, they, um, they're actually going, going to actually hide in them underground bunkers. Yeah. Now, again, if the, the scripture is saying this about them and they're wiser than Daniel, they know this is talking about them. Mm -hmm. the, the Rothschilds and all the elites, they know the scriptures and they know that like like that interview, the, the, the master plan of the Illuminated Rothschilds, they know that they're of the house of Esau. So so they know that the Lord is they coming. They know the back Lord's coming. So that's why you have things like CERN and stuff trying to trying to contact the spirit world, trying to you know get power to try and fight the Lord. That's mm -hmm. why you got the Star Wars uh, program. Mm -hmm. Really all of them them programs, bro, like, like, it's, it's 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 like it's bigger than governments, you mm -hmm. know, trying to fight the Lord when they come back. No, it's it's bigger than that. Because really the, the, the them elites want to fight the Lord when he comes back. That's their vain imagination. That's their it? vain imagination. That's how pump pumped up they've gotten. Exactly. Afraid you know? of must fight. Anyway. Because I'm sure if you was, you know, which I haven't, I'm sure if you if you go into the research, I'm sure some I won't be surprised somewhere in that Star Wars pro Star Wars pro, you know, um you know, you know what I mean program that you probably got a, like a rough child somewhere in there. Like, yeah. Like, like at the back, you know. I was just gonna say because like you're saying they know they're the last there. one after yeah. Because yeah. they know the Lord's coming back with what the army of angels to man, take him down with the chariots. You yeah. Know? But hold, he comes with clouds. All right, that's those chariots, man. And then the angels, the Lord's gonna invade this earth with, especially America, Babylon, which will be destroyed by missiles. Right. Yeah. These, this is the prophecies that the scriptures speak about at the end of the age of Esau, man. Yeah. You know, which and at the end of it, they're going in slavery, and they can't avoid it. They know it, man. Which if I just have the last bit yeah. on Psalms 149, yeah. and it says to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, mm. to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. That's their nobles are these families. Yeah. And when we talk about the nobles, it's not just it's not just Prince Harry, not Prince Harry, because he's a Jake. So like yeah. it, we think more maybe we're Lord willing, he probably is a Jake, Prince Harry. He's different to that other one, um, uh, William. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, when it says to bind up their nobles, it's not um, you know. It, I was thinking of Prince William. Prince William, yeah, they're the nobles, but it's really the super elites. Because the super elite, yeah, there you go, there you go. There you go. That's that's Evelyn, right? He's passed away. And that's him with Prince Charles. So that's the nobles. Prince Charles, Prince Charles is a noble, mm. but it's those guys are the real, the real, the real elites. That's why you can put his finger in them like that. There you go. That's a symbol of power. Who's in power? What does that? What does that show you? I'm telling you what to do. There you go. There you go. So that's who the Lord, when he comes back, he's putting. Read that part again. That last part. It says, yeah. "It's to bind their kings with chains mm -hmm. and their nobles with fetters of iron." That's it. And that's yeah. righteous, man. We're supposed to want that. We're supposed to want, you know, uh, uh, you know, justice for what happened to our people, the slavery they put us through. Because they were happy when we went down. So how are we not going to be happy that they're going down? Man? This is the yeah. end of our, our oppression. So we're going to be hastening the day for that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, brother, you got? Is any, have you got one. any point you want? To, you got the last one, yeah? yeah bro, sure. Go ahead, Nate. Yeah, brother. Revelation 19 and 11. That's it, man. And the, the, the title's called The Coming of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse, uh, representing pure power, a chariot. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. You know, the, the Lord's going to enter into the house of the, of the thief, man. Yeah, and who, who owns this world right now? Esau, man. Yeah, these, these elites. His eyes, was a, was, his eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were, were many crowns. Yeah, because that's showing you... Um, and the Lord's gonna what take power from this earth, take power from Esau. It ain't gonna be a negotiation. It ain't gonna be like Kalel Superman coming to coming to the, the courtroom in, in handcuffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he had this, a name written that no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of, of the most high, the word of God. And yeah, he's the walking word, man. The word that came true, the flesh. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, chariots. Clothed in fine linen, white and clean. So, the, what you gotta visualize is like the movie Independence Day. But this is the real Independence Day where Yahweh Shai, the angels, and, and the elect of Israel are winning. Yeah, America is the one that loses. Babylon the Great loses, and all the rest of these heathen are gonna fall flat, and and then and be forced to bow down to Yahweh Shai or get laid out. Yeah. yeah. And it says, and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, uh, that 
that with it, just smite the nations. Laser beams getting zapped to death like war of the worlds, yeah? And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth for a winepress of fishes of a wrath of the mighty God. And he have on his vest and his fire name written, King of Kings and Lord, Lord of Lords. Lord. So the, the true King, the true Lord is Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. You know? yeah, Yahweh by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's right. That's it, man. That's right. Mm. So any the brother, you got someone you want anything else you want to bring out? So yeah, you know, brothers, we just you know we, we just said we we're gonna come to this area basically, and you see here the the the, the uh, that's the Duke of Wellington on the high horse over up there, man. Arthur <laughs> oh, Wellesley. Uh, yeah, on that high horse right there, and over there is you know the Ark of Triumph they built for him. All right. Uh, the scripture says the triumph of the wicked is short. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know. So hey, Lord willing, man. You know, Lord willing, that was, you know, edifying, you know. Yeah. And, you know, with that, we're going to say, all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kodash. Double honours unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect Akiam out there, man, you know. Stay strong, brothers. Shalom. Hey, bro, that's spiritual, man. Shalom. That's spiritual, man. The light was temporary. Off, soon to the late Lord, thank you, turn back up. Ah.